Happy Mail. I love when I get Happy Mail. I love adding your stuff to my stash. And now, now we really need to make those spools and spend some time this week organizing and sorting. <laughs> but that's okay, because here's a secret. I kind of like sorting and organizing. So, yeah. All right. That's it for the moment. I'll be back.
I um, have been working on figuring out winding my floss. I've had a at least one shopping trip recently. Not that there's been a lot of those to the craft store since the whole COVID-19 th thing started, but I've had at least one and where I bought floss and then I've ordered some and I've had a couple of really generous happy mails from friends, which now means I have a lot of floss that needs to be sorted and organized and put on bobbins and because it's kind of becoming a tangled mess. I thought I could deal with the skeins just being sorted sort of by color groups into little bags and put in a drawer, but that's kind of driving me crazy. Yeah, so um, the little hand crank winder thing, I have a picture here I'll put. Um, works if you only have a few, but I have a lot more than that. And so I thought I'd come down and have an early lunch and watch and look around on YouTube and see if there was any video hack things which there was. We're gonna go try it. I'll be okay, back. guys, we're gonna see if this works. So I've got my husband's cordless drill and I brought up the extra battery because I don't know how much of a charge is in this one. Okay, okay. that was the husband. Um, and I have this little piece. There we go, focus. This is a little chuck piece from one of our Dremel drills. And he's over there. She closed the door. Making That's faces and it's okay. Um, anyway, so the hack I saw on YouTube was that this fits, I can't do this one handed, it fits in here and then you can just start the floss on there and <coughs> so we're going to try it and see what happens.
Okay guys, so I got all the floss sorted and put away. I ended up creating um, a box for just cruel threads. There's some floss in there and yarns. These are like unnamed flosses um, uh, that I was sent that don't have color numbers on them. And then some like cruel embroidery thread and there's some little small balls of uh, leftover yarn in the back. If you're watching this clip, please let me put that together. And then of course I labeled it. And then we have all of the embroidery floss, which is mostly DMC. I did notice as I was putting it away, there's a few other, um, somebody did send me some floss that had color numbers on it, but it wasn't DMC. And I just went ahead and sorted it in here, but the color is definitely very different than the DMC. I don't know what the brand was. I'm going to see if I can fish through the trash. No, I'm not because I took the garbage out. Well, I don't know what brand it was. So anyway, <laughs> um, I'm going to order a DMC color chart anyways. And so then I can, if I'm pulling floss for a chart, I can make sure I pull the right color. Um, but I have like the first, I have like zero, zero to six, six, six in the top drawer. And then this one goes up to like 3173. Um, this one goes uh, all the way to the end, and then there's some Krynik Metallics, my Rainbow Floss, which I'm dying to use, and my Silk Floss in the back, um, which is perfect. And again, this is a standard Sterilite drawer, and I, um, years ago, put um, dividers in the drawer to get six rows across um, with just cardboard and packing tape and it, you know nothing fancy and this is probably 20 years old I did used to have all three drawers full and then I stopped embroidering for a while and kind of used up some stuff so the bottom drawer was empty we're full now again so anyway so that's going to work and I'm glad it's all done and put away and Hey guys, the clips that you're just watching just now, it's about 20 minutes-ish worth, were originally filmed as far, part of a vlog for June of 2020. And I just thought there was so much of the content that might be interesting enough on a standalone uh, to give you hints and tips and ideas of how you can organize maybe some things in your art room. If you have, like me, lots of thread and floss, yarn, fibers, um, even if you don't have some of those, maybe you can get an idea from watching how I am organizing those things to organize something else in your room using what you have. Uh, again, the dividers in the drawers for my floss, it's just cardboard and packing tape and it's been that way for at least 20 years. So use what you have and uh, make it work for you. Uh, it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. You just have to be able to find what you've got so you can use it and create interesting, fun things I'd love to see what you're doing. Do share it over in my Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression, if you're a member over there. If you're not, the link will be down below. Don't forget to support the free content here on Facebook and in the YouTube uh, Facebook art groups um, by uh, shopping in the Etsy shop or using the PayPal chip jar or joining Patreon or something like that. Not only for me, but for other artists that are providing free content. Um, the most important thing, of course, is stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.